Okay, I have some mushrooms here. Now before I talk about those mushrooms, I want to show you uh, old Nelly. Old Nelly is a, that's what I call her. She's a bald cypress tree right here in this little swamp area. She's produced, uh, has fruited lion's mane mushroom in the same spot right there in the fork for the last seven to eight years. And I do have uh, videos that document that. Of course, there's no lion's mane there. And uh, in the past, when I started out uh, looking for mushrooms, if I didn't see uh, her fruiting the lion's mane mushroom, I go, oh, it's not in season. So I'll stop and turn around. But I found out that's kind of incorrect because different trees have different requirements and it seems like the ball cypress tree needs a colder temperature at a, a prolonged period of time and it's usually in midwinter. So you can still find lion's mane as early as October, November, then of course in December and even in January depending on uh, how cold or cool it is. But I want to mention a, a, a technique that I stumbled across, and it's this. Uh, when you look at a path on the ground, a path that has been made over a period of time uh, in the woods, uh, people who walk that path have walked it uh, because of uh, least resistance between the trees. So if you look up in the tree canopy, you'll see that path which mirrors the path on the ground and the exaggerated example will be this path here as you see it goes around the bend and if you were to walk that you would have trees on both sides and you can look up and see the clearance between the trees so i mentioned that to say that i believe that uh that air path the canopy the, the canopy between the trees the clearance is a good air path uh, that is uh, very beneficial for dispensing spores, particularly for mushrooms that are high up in a tree like O'Nelly. So, uh, as I said earlier, my technique is to, to visualize those air paths. Uh, actually, you don't have to visualize them as you walk into the woods and you're going between the trees, you can find uh, paths that have been uh, worked over a period of time, or you can see the openings in the canopy and just visualize that as channels for dispersing uh, spores for mushrooms. And I did follow that uh, path over here for about a hundred yards. And I did come across these lion main mushrooms which were growing on a dead oak tree a log and pretty good size and i'm very confident to say that these lion main mushrooms are descendants of old Nelly. And of course, my technique of following the tree canopy uh, can't be validated. And you might say that's just luck and you're probably right. But then again, the acronym for luck is laboring under corrective knowledge. <laughs>